The cases that we deal with on the internet actually are not that much different, as Brian said, from things that we do in the normal world. Actually, there is no such thing as a difference between the online world and the physical world. It's just that our physical world is digitized and that our lives are taking place in a physical location, but through an intermediation uh, as well. But the point is that in the past, interactions across border were relatively exceptional. Now they're inherent to the platform. Most interactions among people are on the internet or on online platforms, transborder. And in most cases, if you have a French guy insulting another French guy on a website that is the website of a French newspaper hosted in France, of course it's national legislation. <laughs> but if you are an Australian traveling in Chile using Twitter to post something that is defamatory against an Indian, you see the picture, it becomes a little bit more complex. So there is not only the question of speed, the naturally transborder nature of interactions is, is a very big evolution. And the second thing I would like to, to say in, in, in that respect is that sometimes quantitative changes make for a qualitative change. And if I take a very concrete example, if you consider that basically sharing files on the internet is just the equivalent of copying a VHS video, then problem is solved, done. There's no such thing as piracy. Think about it. The natural consequence of saying it is exactly the equivalent of means that there is no problem. But why is there a problem? Because of scale, speed, and spread. And so there are cases where the same thing, if it's done faster, becomes more problematic. Another example is Twitter. If you circulate on Twitter something that is defamatory, it is likely to be retweeted by all your friends who hate the person that you tweeted about. And so it's going to spread very quickly and very broadly.